out of y'all. So I just want to give my gratitude and love to you guys because I've been having a little bit of a rough past week and I just want to say that it's just nice to be able to connect with y'all for this type of video. So let's get into this. Hey girl. Oh my beautiful Aquarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading Aquarius. Now I also do your weekly you versus them reading which I'll leave a link to Aquarius over here for you to check out at a later point if you would like. But when it comes to any of my readings be sure to rely on your intuition Aquarius because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Now if you uh, if you find some cards that do resonate with you, uh, Aquarius, be sure to let me know in the comments below because I love hearing y'all's aha moments that you have with the cards and that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, right? Uh, also, be sure if you do find some cards that resonate, Aquarius, I would really appreciate it for you to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out this channel a lot, Aquarius, and I am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me. And then finally, this here reading here and any of my readings, Aquarius, are just here to give you some perspective, some food for thought for you to consider as you go throughout your week, right? With all that being said, Aquarius, let's start getting into your weekly reading with your overall energies this week. The two cards that I pulled for you, uh, Aquarius, were the Hanged Man and the Six of Cups. Now, some of you Aquariuses might have noticed my reaction when I pulled the Six of Cups earlier in the while I was doing my spiel. And it's kind of just because it's like you're... Hmm, this could be... It's two ways. This is like an energy of reminiscing about the past, of something, um, how things used to be, should have been, would have been, could have been, right? Um, but this is like, it has like, something happening this week that has you thinking about the past in some type of way uh, with the judgment card as well. Now, this could be like dealings with, because this is overall energy, it's kind of hard to gauge, but it could be just like, um, a sobering experience happening with like your uh, um family right this doesn't have to be bad right it could just be like maybe like your um a sibling of yours is getting engaged uh right uh right aquarius and so because of that it has you thinking about it. it's just like oh wow look at the time that has gone by heavy nostalgia energy and this nostalgia only comes in it's not through some random it is through some type of judgment happening which is some type of outside action actually happening so like you know, something like the, like an engagement or anything of that nature, right, Aquarius? So I don't take that energy as anything bad, so let's not freak out about it, right? I know it can seem ominous, right? Especially with how I poorly worded it, but let's just get into your overall, uh, let's get into your career energy now for my Aquariuses that are interested in hearing about their career, their money, their finances, right? Let's see what's up with that. Uh, and see how it correlates with the Judgment card in the Six of Cups, if at all, because it doesn't have to. Three of Pentacles coming in. So, some of you Aquariuses, y'all have been in this partnership. Y'all have signed contracts, probably, or are considering different opportunities uh, with other people. This is a card where it is a collaborative card. Uh, maybe someone that you think highly of is going to be reaching out to you because this is a card of like um, someone thinking highly of another person. Um, regardless of whatever it is, I like this. Um, maybe this is like because of like the example that I was using for your overall energies, Aquarius. Maybe you reached a milestone in your career and it just has you thinking about like how far you've come, right? So, but it's through like a offer coming in. It's through like a contract that you just signed and just something feels official. Perhaps that's the thing. It just feels like you signed like some type of contract or if not like an actual contract to query something just feels official in your life. Like you feel like you're officially like a whatever it is, right? May not have a certificate or anything, but it's just like a milestone for you for you that is huge. So let's look at the clarifiers now for that Three of Pentacles. Five of Swords, the Magician, and the Knight of Cups. Okay, yeah. Then back of the deck energy, Five of Cups coming in. So, Aquarius, this is definitely an energy of where it's like, especially when it's in the workplace, you might be in your head about something. Like, let's just go along with that narrative of before, where it's just like, you think so highly of somebody. 
right? And I feel like you, this is someone that you probably already do business with in some type of capacity, Aquarius. Um, you have this Five of Swords coming in here where it's like your thoughts and you're having some, you're being hard on yourself almost. You know, like, I don't know, maybe I'm just the only one Aquarius, but it's just like, you know, if I like have like a social interaction and you reflect on the uh, interaction later, like you like walk out, like you're going into the movie theater, Aquarius, and like you buy your ticket and they say, enjoy the movie. And you're just, you're just respond with you too. And you don't even think about it until you sit down in the, into your seat after you start eating your popcorn. And you're just like, oh God, I just told him, I told this person you too as well to enjoy the movie. Right. And you beat yourself up over that. This is what I see this five of swords as where it's just like someone, the, someone or something in the workplace Aquarius that you're just in your head about. You're kind of wishing you handled a situation differently, perhaps. Um, and that's what has you looking into the past or being like, ah, if I would, would have handled things differently, um, if I could go back in time sort of thing, uh, the magician card. Yeah, it is the sense of just like wishing you had a little bit more control, wishing you could have a different turn of events, right? With this five of cups as the back of the deck energy, it is that situation of where it's just like, um, I kind of see this as like a frustrated with like the uh like the result of something or frustrated or just kind of like bummed out or hyper focusing on um the mess ups when it's just like life goes on like it's already happened to query so it's just like why continue running it through your mind like i understand like honey trust and believe like i'm an insane overthinker as well but you kind of had to just put it in perspective it's just like what good is it doing thinking about the woulda coulda shouldas when it's just like it's already done honey like we don't need to do those woulda coulda shouldas right we always are constantly learning that's like the whole purpose of living life aquarius is to experience things so it'll like like you learn from those experiences so you can handle things better in the future right so stop beating yourself up for not knowing how to do something perfectly or not handling something perfectly the first few times even because it's just like as long as you're growing as long as you acknowledge where you, you could where you could improve who is it really like a loss is it is it really necessary to be in your head aquarius like is this is the thoughts that you're having about this like is this five of swords truly necessary when you think about it knight of cups does come in um maybe <sighs> Now, this is interesting. I'm going to pull a couple more clarifiers on that one, actually, uh, Queers, because this could be in two ways. This could be in a way of where it's just like, um, now I'm going to pull cards first. Page of coins through, uh, okay. So the clarifiers I pulled <laughs> for Aquarius for your Knight of Cups is the Three of Swords and then the Page of Coins. So, so it seems to me, Aquarius, you want like a fresh start with something in terms of whatever you do in your like your work life in some type of capacity. You want like a fresh start. It feels like um, you feel like you've messed up. And it's just like, you're being hard on yourself and you're just like, man, like you wish, like even with the page of coins, even if it's related to like a person, which the Knight of Cups could be relation to a person, you kind of want to communicate being like, hey, like, I'm sorry I messed up or I'm sorry that you feel like you or like, you know, like just speaking, like whatever it is that you're having anxiety about with this, right? You just want to communicate it and you want to just like start fresh with this, right? You just want to like move on, pretend it never happened. Um... It's interesting. Let's get into uh, your social situations now. Uh, and as I say, that cards go flying everywhere, Aquarius. But yeah, let's get into your social situations, Aquarius. Now, when I say social situations, this could be any type of relationship in your life. Romantic, platonic, work, anything. Whatever it is that you're dealing with, right? You'll know. So let's pull a card with this one. Let's pull a card with that. Yeah, four of pentacles coming in for that. So this is definitely a card of... Uh, setting things out or like kind of playing like the waiting game perhaps a little bit Aquarius seeing how they react perhaps seeing how uh the other person will like what the other person will say or do or maybe you're waiting for them to do some type of action maybe the ball's in their court you feel Aquarius so now you're just in this place of just waiting it out before you make your next move let's see we have the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Swords, Two of Wands. Interesting. So Aquarius, you have this here. 
So it shows to me that there's passion with whoever it is that you're communicating with, that there is some level of care. Um, Seven of Swords comes in where it is like an energy of unsureness. It feels like you're unsure about this connection and that's why you're kind of like sitting here, kind of like waiting things out, Aquarius almost, because it's just like, you don't know where to go from here. You don't know where you, perhaps you don't know where you stand with this person or where they stand with you. Um, interesting. What is the back of the deck? The lovers. So this, I mean, the lovers, I mean, I obviously it's self-explanatory that this could be dealing with in terms of like a relationship Aquarius, but, um, it does talk about big decisions as well in terms of this connection. And like, because maybe you see the big decisions in it, that's why you're waiting it out to get more information perhaps. Um, but also this could, the lovers does, is just a representation of a connection that you hold, you that voice crack, honey, that a connection that you feel, that you hold closely to you that means a lot to you. The lovers doesn't have to mean necessarily like a literal like lover. It could just mean you have a lot of emotion, you have a lot of care for this person, right? And it just shows like the weight and the seriousness of this and like why you're like trying to like figure out like the next right move and how to handle it perhaps or handle the situation so let's start getting into your overall energies now aquarius this is going to be just like your general messages from your spirit guides your ancestors what are archangels guardian whatever it is that you subscribe to right i'm not here to tell you what to believe in right just general messages um see what insight that spirit has for this situation aquarius mm -mm. I can't help but want to know how you guys are doing, Aquarius. I haven't done it for any of the other zodiac signs, but just like, let me know. Like, how are how are you feeling this week, Aquarius? Aquarius says, how are you holding up? Right? I really am. Like, I don't know why. I can't explain it. I just want to like check in with you. Are you good, Aquarius? Are you good, honey? Um, I was suspecting this was going to come up too. I don't know if I said this for you or not already, Aquarius. Um, you have the Hermit card coming in with the Knight of Coins. I'm not surprised with this Hermit because I was being shown this throughout this reading. Um, it does, and it makes sense because it does, with that Five of Swords card that we had from before, you're just in your head. And it's just like this constant just being like, you're in your head, you want to communicate something, being like, hey, like, you know, it doesn't have to be, I'm sorry, but it's just like you really want to communicate with somebody or you really just want like a fresh start. I'm hearing Aquarius constantly. You just want a fresh start and um, there's just like this frustration with it and it just has you like, the more you want this fresh start, the more like you want to do like that communication or what have you, Aquarius, the more you end up just kind of like shutting down and reclusing even more because you're just like, paralysis by an over analysis almost where it's just like you want this so badly Aquarius but then because you want it so badly you don't want to mess it up or you start overthinking and being like oh like I, you don't want to say the, the wrong thing the voice cracks constantly Aquarius my gosh um yeah interesting let's pull some clarifiers though Aquarius um what's just going on with you y'all Aquarius now that I'm like thinking about reflecting on your other readings the past like month month especially y'all i know you've been in this place of just unsureness and anxiety you have been handling it pretty well have you been including people have you been opening up to people aquarius like i've been suggesting to you um i suspect not because we see that hermit honey right but clarifiers we pull okay that card came out too uh, four pentacles following you. So you are just like in this place where it's just like you want to communicate, but you end up reclusing, end up hermiting, uh, waiting it out a little bit longer. You're just kind of like hoping they say something, perhaps hoping the ball drops on their, you're just kind of waiting for the ball to drop, even if there isn't a ball for there to drop. Aquarius. Um, the wheel is that ball, right? It is like the, you're waiting for to figure out where that wheel is going to turn. The wheels of destiny are going to turn. Is it going to turn this way? Is it going to turn that way? Is it going to go in your favor? Are they mad or are they not? You know, it is just like this constant energy. You just, this five of swords. And you're just like, it's almost like this anxious, anxiousness of being like, what are they going to do? What's going to happen? Right? I can tell you what's going to happen, Aquarius. I can tell you right now. We have the Sun card and the Star card coming forward to you. Now, the, uh, was it the Star card? Yeah, it was the Star card, Aquarius, that uh, was the extra card that wanted to come out for you. Now, the Star card, Aquarius, is that wish fulfillment. Um, it's like letting me know also um, 
weights being lifted off your shoulders, and the Sun card is the best card in the deck. So when you have these two together, one, <laughs> I apologize, Aquarius, one, you can take comfort in the fact that you are absolutely on the right path. My gosh, all these issues with your reading, Aquarius. I apologize, I've been talking so much. You can take comfort in the fact, Aquarius, that you are absolutely on the right path. If you're having questions about it, you are on the right path, even with all this chaos, even with this self-reflecting, even if you wish all those woulda, coulda, shouldas, right? Wishing you handled things differently, wishing you said something that you didn't get to say before, did something that you didn't get to do before. All this is part of the plan. All this, you're still on your path towards success. You're on your path towards um, that brightness, that happiness, that fulfillment, that wish fulfillment, right? So yeah, just get out of your head, Aquarius. That's all I want to say about that. I'm, getting, I'm done repeating myself. I'm done repeating myself just because I'm done pulling cards for you because I feel like we I pulled enough cards for you in that I feel like we got the overall message, right? So if you did enjoy this reading, Aquarius, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Let me know which card called out to you the most. Let me know as well, like, how y'all are doing. I'm being serious. I want to know what's up with you, Aquarius. Um, and then also, if you enjoyed this reading, be sure to share my videos with a friend because it does help me out a lot. And I always am super appreciative when you guys just share my stuff, you know, spread the love, share the love, right? But I'll connect with you soon, Aquarius.